What I'm going to do is I'm going to show what happens to an R-based lesson if you try to merge in a pull request that uh, still contains all the styles commit. Now, um, normally you would be able to synchronize your fork using this uh, GitHub button, but um, this branch has conflicts and uh, must be resolved. And that's great because that means that you're unable to automatically do this. Um, so what I've done is I've um, created a bad example branch uh, for me to make the pull request from. So I'm going to go ahead and click this green button and compare and pull request. And uh, this bad example contains a lot of different files. I actually didn't change anything. Um, but now it's trying to bring in all the styles commits. I'm going to create my pull request. Uh, and actually, I'm going to create a draft pull request so that they're not notified. So I'm making the pull request, and it's loading. You can see, again, I have <laughs> trying to merge 1,673 commits um, into bad example. And uh, what's going to happen is uh, um, this fails. The pull, reflight, the pull request preflight checks are running. And that one failed. And what's happened is now I have this. And it says, do not merge this pull request because it has divergent history uh, and contains an invalid commit. Now, what does that mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go over to uh, I'm going to go over to the to the commit, the offending commit. And so here we're viewing this commit on my fork. And you can see that uh, the commit hash is the same as we saw. Uh, the commit was created on tw January 27th, 2015 by Francois Michonneau. And all it does is it, is it adds a CSS folder. That's all it's doing. And the more interesting part is when we try to compare this commit with what we currently have in my fork. So let's look at that right now. Uh, when comparing changes, uh, I'm trying to see what happens like if I try to merge the main branch into this commit. I am, the main branch is uh, 1,600 commits ahead of this particular commit. So that's all fine. That means that this commit exists in the repository. Now, what I'm going to show you is what that same commit looks like in the data carpentry repository, in the source repository, the non-fork. Uh, and it actually looks the same. But the reason it looks the same is because it's on the legacy main branch. This is the branch that was locked during the transition. Um, so again, it's the same exact commit, same date, same author, same contents. Uh, but now it's on the legacy main branch, and it's not you're not able to edit it. But the interesting part is when you compare it to the main branch. I'm going to show you that now. When you compare it to the main branch, on the data carpentry repository, there isn't anything to compare because these have entirely different commit histories. And this is why that pull request was rejected. If it contains this very old commit that doesn't exist at all, then it will be rejected. And this is how we protect uh, the, the lesson repositories from accidentally being uh, reverted back to using styles.